My highlight and contour routine. When contouring, I like to concentrate on the center of my face, the sides of my nose, the hollows of my cheeks, and also my chin and the sides of my jaw. When highlighting, I like to follow this triangle shape in the center of my face, which is also where you'd get the most lightness. Starting with the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer, I'm just going to prime my face ready for foundation and the rest of my makeup. For foundation, it's the Illamasqua Skin Base. This is in the shade 03, and I'm just applying that with my beauty blender all over my skin. Even though I've applied my foundation, some of my scarring is still showing through. So to cover that, I'm using the Crayolan Dermacolor Camouflage Cream. And this is the shade D1W mixed with the shade D4. I'm just lightly applying that using my brush and then patting it in using the warmth of my finger. Let's move on to contouring. I like to concentrate my contour in a few key areas. My forehead, the hollows of my cheeks, down at the sides of my nose, my chin and lower jawline. This kind of works for me, so let's give that a shot today. My favorite contour product right now is the Illamasqua Gel Sculpt Stick in the shade Silhouette. It's such a beautiful natural shade. If you're wondering where to contour, then just suck in your cheeks and press your fingers onto your skin. You can feel where your cheekbone is. You want to contour just under it. I'm just going to roll the contour stick into the hollows of my cheeks and slightly in an upwards direction. So rather than just going straight across, I'm going to bend it up around my cheekbone. I'm also bringing this across the top of my forehead. It looks a little bit crazy right now, but we will blend it out, so don't worry about that. Next, I'm going to take this contour stick down the sides of my chin to give me more of a chiseled chin because, well, I don't go to the gym also down the sides of my jaw and finally down the sides of my nose now I don't go too hard on contouring my nose I just do a light basic level of contour in here if you want something a little bit more extreme then I think crispy has a good nose contour tutorial and here's how it looks you can definitely see the areas where I want to add shadow now and I've kept the center of my face bright and light so let's move on to highlight. I'm using the NYX HD concealer in the shade Porcelain and I'm applying that onto my chin, my upper lip, on the bridge of my nose and in the center of my forehead. I'm also bringing this down the sides of my nose just to straighten it out a little and under my eyes as well. This will add some brightness and lightness to the center of my face. Repeat on the other side. And to intensify my cheek contour, I'm applying some concealer below where we applied the contour. And here's the finished look, my tiger stripe tutorial. Or not. Now let's blend this out using a brush, a beauty blender, a mini beauty blender, or even a makeup sponge. It's all up to you. I'm using the beauty blender today. This is the same one that I used for my foundation. Now using the pointed edge, I'm going to just blend out the highlight under my eyes and working down my face. This pointed bit works really well to get in there on your top lip around the edges of your nose and also your chin. It's really great for doing these bits and I'm just going to repeat on the other side. Moving on to the forehead and I'm using the side of the beauty blender to just blend out this highlight. I want it to look soft and to just blend smoothly into that foundation. For the contour, I'm using the kind of bulbous end of the beauty blender and doing a very gentle bouncing technique to just get that contour slowly blended out into my foundation. Take your time on this, it's not a rush. We just want it to stay in the areas we've applied. We don't want it to spread across our face. So take your time and blend and bounce. And carry on across the forehead too. Now I do have a couple of dry patches that the contour stick has clung to. If that's happened to you, then just go over those small areas using your concealer and everything will be back to flawless as it was before. 
And here's how it looks. You can see that there's this triangle of light in the center of my face from the highlight and also on my forehead as well. This gives such a brightness to the skin. My cheeks especially have more of a 3D appearance and look less flat. Let's add some blush. This is the NYX Blush Stick in the shade Water Lily. This is a cream blush that I'm just going to make myself look like a little elf. And then blend that out using the same beauty blender once more. When it comes to setting your base, you could use a fixing spray or even a setting powder. The choice is all yours, whatever you like to use. Today I'm using the Vichy Derma Blend Powder for my under eye and concealed areas and the Anastasia Contour Kit to set the contoured areas. For the powder, I'm just going to apply it using a mini beauty blender and this will slightly bake that contoured area. I'm just applying excess powder there that I will dust off afterwards. For my contour, I'm taking the shade Fawn and I'm just running that along those same areas where we contoured, especially concentrating in the hollows of my cheeks and across the top of my forehead. I don't tend to use this down the sides of my nose because I feel it's a little unnecessary, so just these two main areas really. Next, dust off that excess translucent powder and let's move on to blush. Today I'm wearing the Milani Illuminating Face Powder. This is shade 03 and I'm applying this onto the apples of my cheeks. Finally, some highlight. You could use the Mary Luminizer or something like the Anastasia Highlight. I broke this one today. Bad times. I'm going to use it anyway. This is the Starlight Highlight. I'm just applying this to the highest point of my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow and then the bridge of my nose. And here's the finished look. You could keep this completely natural with a touch of mascara and lip balm or you could glam it up ready for a night out. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon. Bye! Hi guys and welcome back. Today